Jay, guess what? What? I'm going to be a stand-up comedian. Let's hear your best stand-up bit. Let's hear it real quick. Okay. This is all by myself. I just wrote it. Came out of nowhere. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever think the guy that inverted that invented the bird bath is a bird pervert? <laughs> like he just wants to like stare outside and watch a bird take a bath. <laughs> There's no way you me. wrote this. There's no way you wrote this. Who wrote nah, this? No, really? it's all me. It's all me. It's all no, me. No, I don't believe you. I wrote it by myself. Like, here's another one. I just wrote out of nowhere. I want to open up a copy store and just hire twins. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> Uh, and I don't have my guitar out. Crap, I should have brought out my guitar. He does. Uh... So, Knights, I went to, uh, I had the chance to watch Dimitri Martin, one of my favorite comedians, with uh, one of my buddies, uh, the Master of Metal's brother, Andy, the traveling guru. We watched Dimitri Martin, a really quick, witty comedian, and that's all his jokes. So, I stole them all because I'm awesome. And it was local and it was fun. Um, and I've been bragging about Dimitri Martin to Jay for a millennia. And you've been, you know, some of his stuff, right? A little. Uh, yeah, I recognize him. I don't like, I haven't followed him religiously, but I, I do know who he is. Yeah. He's super clever. He, he wrote, he wrote a book. Um, he's that he's actually funny. So two things, he wrote a book and then a book, there's a whole chapter where it's a palindrome where it's front and back the same thing. That's how intelligent he is. <laughs> like a chapter is a palindrome. Uh, but then he went off by saying <laughs> he's proud that he's the only comedian without a podcast. And then Andy looked right at me and he's like, Oh, <laughs> You're not as cool as him. I'm like, I know. I know. <laughs> but you are so able to cool. steal his material. Yeah, oh, I'll steal it all day. I'll pull a Carlos Mencia and just steal all his all his stuff. Ugh. <laughs> That's, such That's a on you for not being big or Dane <laughs> Cook or whoever stole all the joke stealers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but it was okay. cool. It's good to go to a comedy show. How would you rate it on a scale of one to ten? Oh, a 10. He's so, and here's what's really cool. So he dropped, um, he's not, he, he is a stand-up comedian, right? He doesn't do like, oh, if you're a stand-up comedian, you're, you're an actor, you do a lot of stuff. He had a variety show back in like, oh, eight, had maybe two, three seasons. It didn't pick up too, too well. I loved it, but it's more, I think he's better now. A lot of his jokes are like meme based jokes, but they didn't have memes back then. Uh, so he's my type of like quick, quick, clever humor which I really like um, to Does have. Do any so life? anyway, so go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, so he, he, he just dropped a Netflix special and I was worried because me and Andy watched the Netflix special and we were scared because he's going to use the same stuff, right? The same material. Why not? But it was all new, nothing to do with that stuff. Like all his jokes were new, which is really cool. And the Netflix is actually a trilogy that he's coming out with. So it's a three part series. Yeah. So he recorded the first one. The second one comes out soon. And then there's a third and it's the first time he's done it. And it's, it's really cool. So the venue is not massive, right? It was Sandy city amphitheater, which isn't like, yeah, it was an amphitheater. It was outside. It started to rain a little bit before, um, but not enough. Like it's, it's summer. So you get that light, light drizzle, but it's overcast. It's late at night. Um, but at the very end of his his uh bit because it was just him by himself we went for a good hour and 15 minutes every an hour and a half and he um started to rain and then he was like oh oh guys go rain and we're like no finish your side so we were all excited for him to finish it and so he finished it with a really cool joke about his kids uh and so yeah it was a nice theater and he's actually he was funny about it i don't i don't know if it was bad advertisement even we didn't really know too much that he was coming and we follow him uh, but he he gets on stage and he goes Oh, I'm glad there's a lot of empty seats. I like my audience to have a leg room. <laughs> like he, <laughs> he, he's like us. He self-deprecates. So the reason I ask, and this might have been intentional, a lot of times these comedians um, will do like you know smaller venues when they're writing material because they want to test out the material before the special. So the reason why I'm guessing you probably didn't see any of like the repeat on the special or it's not a big tour is he's probably testing a lot of material. So depending on how the crowds like it. Uh, he'll he'll write it into the special and if they don't really love it he'll write it out of his script so like a lot yeah. of comedians do that where they'll travel or they'll just do you know a few smaller shows and they're just testing their material so that's really cool actually that you were in on the ground level i don't know if you knew that about comedians but um i was listening to a comedian talk about that yeah no it makes sense because he had um a tent for his merch and they called it a pop-up tent so i'm like maybe this was just a pop-up special uh, he wasn't, he was it wasn't, a, I don't think it was a big nationwide tour. It was pretty big. He was supposed to come a couple years ago, but then he got sick and he canceled and it was down at uh, Rice Eccles, the U. 
which is a, a decent size amphitheater. Uh, Big, so this was dude. probably half the size. Yeah. Um, which was great because it was down the street from where um, someone we grew up the around guru lives. Dude, it's down the yeah. street from my parents' house. Fun yeah. fact, I'm an Eagle Scout and my Eagle Scout project was at that venue. Oh, really? It's a nice yeah. venue. I lived there for like 15 years and it was the first time I went into that venue, really. So Taylor Those Swift trees. played there in like oh, 2006. Yeah. Yeah, 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 totally did. And a lot of people are local are like, oh, we went and saw Taylor Swift before she was big. And we <laughs> so, were like, and I just remember because they would have the. <laughs> that's how they thing. actually sound. It's really weird. All our neighbors sounded that way when we were growing up. <laughs> Brr, we knew Taylor Swift when she was a country star. <laughs> I planted a lot of those trees, Johnny. I don't know if you knew that, but. That oh, was what I peed on a lot. Was. I mean, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All those trees in the area. We planted a ton of them. Get out. And that's how you became an Eagle Scout. Yeah. Nice. That's just, a good service project. You know, Eagle Scout is just all about having a really motivated mom <laughs> who does all the, <laughs> all the work for you and signs you up for things. And you just show and up you and you do up. it. <laughs> and say a few things. Memorize a few lines. I'm kidding. I really yeah. Look at this. You think I'm not an Eagle Scout? Do you see who's yeah, watching me every day? The original Eagle Scout. The original Eagle Scout. Dude, you think Captain America wouldn't have been an Eagle Scout? You know he was. You know oh, he that. was an Eagle Scout. Oh, yeah. yeah. He... He didn't walk around going door to door collecting collecting old cell phone batteries, which was one of the laziest Eagle Scout projects I've ever seen. <laughs> Is that yours? No, no, no. I, I didn't get that far. My ADD did not let me get past Cub Scouts. Uh, you know that he's planting trees. <laughs> oh, planting it and then cutting it down with his bare hands. <sighs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, so it was really said? cool because it was it the bird one. Oh no, the bird! No, no, the bird one is one of his old stand-up ones. But oh, no, a lot of his new stuff. Like he did some Olympic ones that were funny. He goes like, the the it doesn't make sense to have the same sport we know on the Olympics. Like they should have the hockey players wear the ice skating uniforms. Like that's just funny stuff. Like to make it the sport interesting. <laughs> Put three volleyballs in while you play volleyball. Like just <laughs> makes up the sport. I'm like that's not a bad idea. <laughs> and uh, and then yeah, his songs on his guitar were. He does, he does a thing with um, a white clipboard and then he does drawings on it, right? And it's smart. What he does is he signs them and sells them after the show, making back all the tickets he didn't sell, right? <laughs> uh, and literally, so this one, so sometimes he does like charts and stuff, super clever things. But this time, all he did was like a circle and he had like 20 of them. And every time he turned the page, he had a different perspective of, of stuff with a circle, just a circle, something that simple. And that's what I find is amazing with his creativity. You just take a circle and do a 15 minute bit on drawings on a circle. <laughs> like there'll be like graphs. There's a ratio. There's like force perspective. He has a big nose and he just drew like a triangle on the circle. And he goes, this is me in a submarine. Like just like little funny <laughs> uh, things like that, which, which make me laugh out loud. And I got outside, which is rare. So we'll take it. Dude. I know it's like Phoenix. And apparently this yeah. got you, got you out for uh, two times in the year. I mean, the third time would have been um, Renfair, and I'm still debating, but it's so far away this year. Ugh. Dude, I know. They put Renfair out in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere. If It was golden. Why are we just a two-hour drive? Ugh. Might as well just spend the night and be in a renaissance. Let's, I'm, doing, I'm back on board. Mm. I like it. But yeah, it's really cool. Dimitri Martin's one of my favorites. Look it up. Um, it's the kind of humor you and me like to do, Jay. Just fast wit, quick meme stuff. Uh, well, we're and they're fast, clever, but we're not witty, you know. So, no. and I mean, we 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 just find concepts and we bounce it off each other, and then we find it funny. We laugh at ourselves. That's all we care about, <laughs> dude. Honestly, we've reached a good amount of people. We had we had a couple memes. We had one a reel that hit five hundred thousand views. That's true. I love it when when I'll have a random friend be like, "Yeah, I laughed at this meme." Then I realized that was you guys, and they they were just so shocked. And I'm like, "Well, we are funny." <laughs> people yeah. laugh at us with this as long as they're laughing we're happy totally <laughs> uh, that's been our mantra since day one that's what i always tell people they go what are you guys about we're all about conversation with friends and we just want you to laugh with us at us as long as you're laughing the world is horrible <laughs> i have a laugh. funny story johnny <laughs> so i wrote a i wrote a stand-up bit <laughs> and then i went on a date and at the end of the date i was like hey i wrote a stand-up bit do you want to hear it <laughs> I don't this know is, why this is a true head. story. This is a true story. Uh, I was so awkward. I, it's a, it's a miracle I ever got married, Johnny. It's a miracle. I, anyway, you know that I'm proud that you went on that date at, at uh, 27. Good for you. 
dude um so i go on this day and at the end of it i offer to do a stand-up routine so we're just hanging out in my truck this is years ago 10 years ago and i do this little bit of stand-up you know only like two minutes like this is what i think is kind of funny it's just like oh okay <laughs> and then like on the drive home i get this text and it's like hey <laughs> locked uh, Locked. Yeah, pretty much that. It was like, hey, I feel like we're at different stages in life, and I don't think we should. You're see each other at again. a loser stage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at. Like a, I want, gotta find a. <laughs> it seems like we want different things in life. <laughs> All right, Bird. I have to ask. Do you remember it? Do I remember the stand-up routine? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I and do. And can you please, please tell us how you oh. got this lady to not text you back? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what if we hit a goal? If we get these nights to help us with a goal, will you do it? Mm. If we get, what's our goal? A thousand subs on YouTube? Yeah. If you do it, if we get a thousand subs, I will do a selection of this stand up routine. Sure. <laughs> now I want the whole thing, the whole two I don't minutes. Know if I could remember it all. <laughs> and some of it, like, <laughs> I don't know. Some of it's a little PG 13. Ooh. Ooh. It was Yeah, she wasn't ready was for bad. you. She wasn't laughing at all, and I just kept going. It was like I thought I was <laughs> funny. <laughs> That's why you test it out first with other boys, and then we will tell you to say it no matter what, because we love when we crash and burn. Dude, so bad. <laughs> oh, now I'm all excited. Now I'm motivated to get us that thousand. It's not funny either. Like as I look back on That's it. That's why I'm it's like, funny. <laughs> why would I have done this? Like why did I think this was so funny? <laughs> and why did I want to share it with her? <laughs> why didn't I just leave it alone? I thought the date went really well until that point. <laughs> literally, like, literally went super well. Like the, oh. the multiverse of Jay's dating is we find this other universe and you're married to her. And you're like, what happened? I didn't say the joke. We got married. <laughs> we oh. realized we we're in the same stage, not telling stupid jokes. Yeah. It's okay. She was, she was like, she was older than me too. So that probably didn't help with the humor as I was like, Ooh, look at you taking my, down a cougar. Yeah. I was like, in my was it an old 20s. lady joke? No, it was in my early twenties and she was in her late twenties. So it was like, she was probably nah, five or six count. years older than me. That doesn't count. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah, she was, my last she was, was a 72 year old. It's not, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> she was hoping to find a husband and I was hoping for someone who would to find a, a stand up, one who, who, who would go see her stand up. Yeah, oh. <laughs> so much to validate my stand-up career. <laughs> I did not know we have to go to open mic night. I'm I'm shocked. I thought <laughs> I thought our buddy Zach was the only one who was a, a a comedian here, a stand-up comedian. Well, clearly it derailed my career. So maybe that's the real multiverse. Is in another universe, if I just shown it to someone else, would I have you know been a stand-up comedian based on every comedian sucks at telling jokes? So you got to get you got to get good at it. I, I support it. <laughs> yeah, if we hit a thousand subs. Write it down. I will do the the stand up bit. I'll refine it a little bit too, unless because okay. I don't think I can. I don't think I can deliver it the same way I did to her. I um, want you I mean, to though. I don't, I don't even care. We'll put a disclaimer. We'll 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 have our producer editor beep you out if we need to. I need to hear it all. I will tell you, you're gonna get a text with me after, and it might be our last cast because we might be in two different places <laughs> on our podcast. Shawty, you're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I really feel like I. <laughs> You guys got a thousand just, subs. Now you're at four hundred. How did you lose so many? We just want different. Jay things told a life. joke. <laughs> oh. I thought you guys like it when they laugh at you. I know, I know. It backfires. I know. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Hit a thousand subs nights, and I will do the stand-up routine. How's that? That makes it worth our wild. I'm I'm excited. <laughs> so yeah, nights. Who's your favorite stand-up comedian? Have you seen Dimitri? His stuff is on Netflix. I brag about him always. Um. He's not like Jim Gaffigan, but he is cleaner than all. He's he is a cleaner comedian. Maybe He'll like say, Nate Bargatze. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> it, what is what's the old PG thirteen rule? You're allowed one f bomb. Like he'll say one or two here and there. They're super subtle if he does, um, because he's fast pitchy wine line. But but he is also an adult, so it's there. But yeah. but I do. But it's not something that I would feel like it's every fifth word is a swear word just to be funny. He's he's clever enough to not need profanity to be funny. I think both are great timing. I'm I'm not a uh, against whatever makes people laugh, but I always recommend him and his fast wittiness um, is there. And I'm will steal a lot of his jokes, so that's yeah. there. Have you seen his special? What do you think of his special? Who's your favorite comedian? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Drop Be sure your to favorite comedy co uh, joke too while you're there. Make us laugh. 
Yeah. Maybe record a little stand up routine and tag us in it on Instagram. <laughs> we would love to make you out stand up Jay, which I think is very, very plausible. So, so easy, dude. It was not a good bit. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I love it. Nights. Great. Let us know what you think. Tell us about your favorite comedians. And when we hit those thousand subs, Jay will tell us a joke. Yeah. All right. Nice. We'll catch you on the flippity flop. Flippity flip.